traveling at over 100,000 miles an hour, floating forever in this great vastness we call our galaxy. But it is the same galaxy that is home to many stars and planets just like Earth. So who are we to claim sole possession of life? Is man vain enough to think our planet is unique? Or that no other planets may be home to intellectual beings? Perhaps it is not out of the realm of thought that at this very moment, as we all go about our daily lives, we are being observed, studied, by other more advanced life forms millions of light years away. If this is the case, one should properly wonder if man's ever-increasing arsenal of atomic bombs and other massive weapons would not send up a warning flag to these intergalactic observers. If, perhaps, man should stumble upon a weapon so destructive that its detonation could alter the universe as we know it, would not these far advanced beings do everything in their power to stop us? Mankind would serve itself well to carefully ponder this complex question, for in its answer lies our very salvation.